So I've been using the Z-Packs Duplex Tent for about 20 nights now, and I would just want to share my thoughts. I absolutely love the tent. You're supposed to set it up with tent pegs, but most of the surfaces that I'm on are rocky, so I have to attach paracord, paracord that to some rocks, and bada bing, bada boom. You also use the trekking poles that you would use on a backpacking trip. Here I'm using the trekking pole replacement kit, just two little poles that you stick up in the little column there and you rock it out and you're good to go and this is my preferred way of setting up the tent and the intended way of setting up the tent minus the rocks you would use tent pegs and you use these little guy lines to add tension to the tent and there you go bada bing bada boom you got a great old tent i love the dyneem on this thing what an awesome awesome tent and you can see here it's held up with tension so you take that trekking pole out or the trekking pole replacement out and the tent collapses. So if you don't like the whole rock solution that I'm using here, Z-Packs offers another kit. It's called the Flex Kit, and I purchased that. And it's just four poles, and they're set up as an exoskeleton on the unit. Here I'm removing the rocks to just show how this works. I take the rocks out, I attach each one of the four corners, and then those four corners attach up to the peaks, and this is what gives the external structure to the tent and the tent is now freestanding all by itself and you can see that you can move the tent around when it's like this which is really handy the issue though is that the tent is actually quite flimsy when it's in this configuration the flex kit is great in non-windy conditions and non-rainy conditions because i can just put the fly up and you got yourself a beautiful little freestanding tent but if you want to use that fly because it's rainy or it's windy you're gonna have to start using rocks again and so as you see here I'm just using that rock with that paracord again to rock it out and you can see that as I rock it out it pulls down the top of the tent and obviously I'm being a little bit rough with it right now but in order for it to remain nice and rigid I put that trekking pole back up in here and I find that you know with the flex kit as a freestanding kit I don't love it by itself I like using it in conjunction with rocks and with the tent poles I find that it works way better so you're adding weight and you're adding complexity, but this is my favorite setup for the tent. And uh, this is the way I find I have to do it, especially when it's rainy and windy. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because I actually really, really like this tent. As you can see, I'm six foot three and I have lots of room in here on that bathtub floor made of Dyneema, which is awesome because you don't need a ground sheet. And you can see here that last night when it was rainy, all that rain was pooling underneath my tent and in a lot of other tents, that water would be seeping in through the floors. I've had that happen on a few other tents, but here that bathtub floor keeps everything on the outside, which is just the best. I absolutely love that bathtub floor. So with the single wall tents, a lot of the condensation will build on the inside and it's supposed to come out through these vents that are in between the bathtub floor and the vent. Uh, it's a great design. I cannot think of anything better than that, but I've had an issue where I'm on sleeping on a slope and my feet will poke out through the bottom and it'll make the bathtub floor go underneath the fly of the tent. And if that's the case while it's raining, rain will just get all over your sleeping bag or over your head and come into the tent. So that was a learning curve to learn about. But overall, there's a few things that make this tent a little bit more of a pro tent, um, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. It's extremely lightweight, it's extremely durable, I love the layout, it's an awesome tent overall and I could not recommend it more, but there's a few things to be aware of if you are to purchase this tent. 